Stars and Straps RC here. I uh, want to say salute to all the veterans out there. You guys remember the veterans living, passed away, serving POWs. I uh, can't say enough about the veterans. I support them very much. My dad passed away this year. He was a proud Navy veteran. I salute to my dad. But anyway, uh, I got this uh, Hobby King Bixler 3. Uh, I've, I've had Bixlers in the past, the old ones, where you actually have to glue the fuselage halves together. Those were way back. But um, this is a 63-inch, I think, wingspan. Uh, it's uh, different compared to the old ones. It's got landing gear if you choose to put it on there and then it has a does have a tail wheel. I uh, generally like to belly land mine and they included a uh, little plastic uh, piece here that glues on the bottom to help protect it from the grass and whatnot, but um, it also has the uh, FPV mount that replaces the foam canopy if you choose to do that. I'm not, I might mount my uh, little camera on there and get some aerial video, but uh, I'm, I'm liking the uh, the colors on this for taking it up high and just soaring around it's going to be very visible uh, that's that's the top of one of the wing halves there uh, the colors are great I think and very well placed uh, this is uh, the other wing half showing the bottom so that again will be visible when you're when you're up high you can see what they've done with the rudder and elevator and then the underside of the elevator is the same as the underside of the wing with the black stripes um guys check check your uh plastic pieces to to be sure they're they're glued on good i kind of i put the wing spar in in this half and just barely barely tapped it on something out of the box and that thing popped out it was had very little to no glue holding it down so i took my faithful shoe glue or shoe goo and uh glued that back down these uh manufacturers sometimes go through these really quick and sometimes they miss glue joints and, and sometimes they just hardly put any glue on them at all um, you can see obviously the rear mounted motor, the uh, canopy, you can see it has plenty of room, you can get a 3 cell 2200 in there easy, maybe even a 3 cell 3300, um, but uh, I'm, I'm impressed so far. I've, I've been flying for 25 years. I've put many ARFs together, the built-up planes together. I've put countless foam planes together. You know, sometimes you like to refer to instruction booklets, and, and sometimes you don't need to. I don't think I'll need to on this. But at any rate, they didn't put one in the box. So uh, pretty much the, uh, the uh, tail surfaces glue on no screws on that it would have been nice to have at least one screw holding holding the rudder and elevator in but uh they glue in on the back and i'll again i'll use the shoe goo for that um but yeah the the bixler 3 uh it has uh servos mounted different way different than the last ones if you can see 
they're mounted sideways in the side of the fuselage. There's one there. It's just right there by the uh, ESC. And you can see where they came out with the horn here. And it actually has one long horn to the rudder and then a collet here with another rod from there that comes down to the uh, the uh, tail wheel to steer that and the same on on the elevator they mounted the servo on the side in the fuselage like that with the horn coming out the side and then the the control rod out here will hook up to your your elevator but they did they did put a, a plastic sleeve in there so i remember on the old ones they they wouldn't put a sleeve on them and so the the rod to those tail surfaces would would flex uh, so you had to kind of rig a, a sleeve on those but it's all new now, and uh, hopefully it'll fly just as good as the old ones. Uh, I, I do remember having a lot of fun with the old Bixlers. They're, they're not slouches. They do have some speed to them. I may look at uh, upgrading the, the prop that I got with this one. Um, I'm not sure what... If it doesn't say what, what, oh, it's an 8-4-E. So I may put a, put, put a, uh, I don't know, maybe an 8-5 or something on there. Up in New Mexico where I'm at, the air is thinner, so you need more pitch on some props here to, to grab air. So we'll see how it works without, with the, uh, with this stock one and then go from there but uh yeah for for 135 i think that's that's a decent price for a for a sport sailplane and i hope to have a lot of fun with it and get some video from my youtube channel stars and stripes rc on youtube if you haven't checked it out check it out if you like it like and subscribe okay thank you for watching stars and stripes rc signing off